Hi there, it's Eugen from Hvoia Audio. I'm going to show you some nice new features that were added to RIPS in version 1.2. The first thing that you can notice is that there was some UI rearrangement. Now some controls are organized in a more logical way, improving user experience and leaving more space for the waveform display. Playhead propulsion controls are now grouped more locally, below the waveform. So for example, after adjusting the play rate, you don't have to go to the other part of UI to adjust the related step ram as it was before. All playhead wobble and playhead error controls are right here too. The gap probability control now is just a two-digit number here in the middle with the other gap controls. Multi-input control migrated to the left right next to the buffer length control. Which brings us to this interesting button here, a fix mode. This button disables MIDI notes control in RIPS. You can still use MIDI CC for automation if you want, but voices are triggered manually only by clicking on the tabs. It basically means that RIPS behaves as a granular effects and in this mode can be used in any host. Notice that two more controls become visible here. Voice note and voice volume. You can set the note to each voice independently, or set them all to some note. Volume control also sets individual values for voices. Polymono logic applies in effects mode to some extent. For example, if I am in mono mode, every time I trigger a voice, the previous one is set to release. By the way, you can release all voices in effects control menu or in tab control menus. Be careful with polyphony, since in a fixed mode number of active voices parameter is ignored and you can load your CPU too much. Next, refill modes. Running refill was actually introduced earlier, but it was mentioned only in the change log. It basically just refills the buffer continuously. The other new mode is refill on fast envelope changes. That one is interesting. Every time the input signal gets loud enough, the refill starts. Again, uh, two more controls appear here. Threshold and sensibility. It's easy to see what they do using the existing buffer contents. When you hover the mouse over them, RIPS draws the approximate behavior of the refilling envelope and draws the approximate refill moments. These two parameters are set individually for every voice too. Oh, by the way, the buffers are now filling only when the host is playing. If you stop or pause it, the refilling pauses too. Next, the filter. We've added a couple of filter models. The old one is called Resonant. The first new model is called Simple. It performs better on high frequencies and creates more juicy sound. I personally like this one more. Uh, the second one is Format. As you might know, Format filters are better used with spectrally rich sources. Not necessarily noises, but frequent clicks would do. Frequency parameter then controls the format and Q controls the timber. The last new feature is gaps distribution. It used to be just random, but now you can set it to even, and gaps will be distributed as evenly as possible. For example, if I set probability to 50, every second grain will be a gap. This can be used to create some nice rhythmic structures, for instance.
Okay, that's about it. I hope you liked it. Download the new rips, subscribe to this channel and support the project. All the links are in the description. See you!